Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here, and uh, we're talking Week 6 NFL action. We're into Baltimore versus the Bungles. Um, this isn't going to be pretty, Bengals fans. It, it really isn't. Um, I know a handful of you were commenting things on my videos earlier in the year saying I didn't know a damn thing about football because, hey, you guys have a good team. Well, please do yourself the favor of looking at your record next time before you make those comments. Um, the Bengals are a bad team. They have good players. They definitely do. They have a coach that's up and coming and might turn into something good. He also might be a total flop. We don't know. Okay, he's very young. He's just starting with a franchise that really didn't have a well-built roster. They have talented players. They don't have players that work cohesively as a unit with a plan. And that's the difference between teams like the Bengals that have talent down the, or the roster but still find a way to lose and teams like, oh, Pittsburgh, who always seem to find a way to win over and over again regardless of who they're trotting out there. This year, not so much for Pittsburgh, but... They're a good perennial powerhouse example. So Baltimore is going to be all over the Bengals. Um, Baltimore has not had consistent rushing um, and good production that they really would have liked out of um, Mark Ingram. Uh, that's going to change this game. Oh, okay. Um, the Bengals still have homeless people strapping on the helmet for linebackers. So um, Mark Ingram, as soon as he gets past the line of scrimmage, done. He's just running over people that have no business being in the NFL as a starter right now. Um, start that man. He's going to go off in this game. Okay? I, I don't care if you think you have better options. You don't. He, he is going to whoop up on the Bengals. Um, the Ravens will not have to throw the ball much, but they will here and there. And the best targets in that offense right now are Andrews and Brown. And I, I would expect Andrews to be a tight end one most weeks. I, I mean, he has just been steady and solid for this offense. And when they have gone off, he's reaped the benefits. So, uh, Always have this man in your lineup. Brown is more of a streaming kind of player. Um, depends on if Jackson decides to throw the ball a lot or run the ball a lot. And in a game like this, he'll have either option. It's just a matter of whether or not there's actual pressure on him at the time, forcing him to make a quick decision. So I would expect Brown uh, to put up decent numbers. He's going to be a good flex play, wide receiver three. I would not count him to be a number one or number two wide receiver um, just because he's young and Jackson's still young and there's not going to be consistently week in and week out the same kind of attack and damage they're getting out of that dude um, yet yeah. next year maybe not this year so um, is he going to blow up in games and have 30 point performances absolutely the dude is very very talented and so is his quarterback um he's just not been in the league long enough to consistently toss up fantastic numbers so i would be leery of starting him week in and week out like a lot of these receiving targets that are new in the league um they're, they're just not going to do it every week you know it's going to be five points one week 25 points the next week that, that's the nature of the beast with receivers in general that's why you go towards the big names in drafts, uh, because they're going to consistently put up at least 10 or 12, even though they're bad weeks. Brown's not there yet. Um, so he is definitely a high ceiling, low floor streaming option. So be leery. Um, Jackson will go off. All right. Jackson is in a position where he's going to be the third or fourth best quarterback play of this week because, well, he's going against the Bengals and they're terrible. So he's going to put up numbers. He's not going to have a hell of a lot of pressure on him. He's likely not going to turn the ball over that much. And um, 
he's got a strong running game that's going to support him. So I would expect him to have openings downfield multiple times through the game, and he's got the arm talent and now developing the accuracy to hit those targets. So he will take advantage of it. He will score. Okay, this guy is going to have a 35-ish point performance or more because of the level of his competition. Bengals fans, your best bet for starting one of your hometown boys is going to be from your receiving core. Ross and Boyd, mostly because of garbage time, okay? Garbage time, you're going to be behind, you're going to be hucking the ball all over the place in order to catch up because the Ravens are going to have a big lead early. Um, they do have a good defense, so it's going to result in turnovers as well. So don't go anywhere near starting Andy Dalton. Anybody who even thinks that's a good idea needs to stop playing fantasy football, okay? You're just too much of a homer to be effective at this. Um, but yeah, um, Ross and Boyd are great options. Um, Mixon is... Yeah, uh, I don't think this is a good play for Mixon this week. I don't. Um, I get it. He, he's a, a talented back, but he's dealing with a bit of an ankle injury. And um, this defense will be able to key in on him and take him out of the game. Uh, they're not as good as they've been in years past, but they're still a very strong unit and strong up the middle. They got good linebacking play, good safety play. So even if he shakes past the line of scrimmage, he's got another layer of defense right there in his face that's talented enough to be in the right position and stop the man. So Mixon, you're going to have better options. He's a flex play at best this week. Um, that's what I got for this one. And hit me up in the rest of the videos. Um, oh, sorry, the line. Um, we had 11-point favorite Baltimore. They're going to beat that. Okay, they're going to beat the Bengals by two touchdowns or more, I think, pretty easily. Um, yeah, the Bengals are in a tailspin, and you cannot keep energy up all season long to really go at these games. Um, they're going to start giving up, and they're going to start giving up soon, probably halfway through this game. So they're going to lose by two touchdowns. Put your money on Baltimore. Um, hit me up in the rest of the videos for what I think fantasy football-wise in the other games. And check out the Nerdy Sports Fan Weekly for my review of the Joker movie.